Uh, g'day students. Um, I mentioned to a few students in uh, the week 6 lecture that um, it would be a good idea to put together a video on the use of the um, shape builder in uh, SpaceGas um, and also to show um, the method of achieving the same output as the shape builder but uh, through AutoCAD. Um, so to bring up the shape builder um, if you hit the uh, data sheets tab you can um, go down to uh, section properties um, and create a new section um, with a, I suppose a custom name um, and the, the tool that you're looking for is right down this uh, bottom right hand corner this shape building thing looks like someone stacked a, an I-beam or a C-beam on top of an I-beam okay um, I've turned the resolution of my screen down for YouTube dimensions so hopefully this will fit just kind of okay so with the shape builder open um, what you need to do is click on the uh, points shape so that you generate a custom shape based on the definition of a number of points. Um, we're not uh, having radiuses in between any of the, the starting points, so um, that field can remain as zero. Um, and if you look at the, um, the shape um, in the back page of your was it back page? Second, uh, second or third last page in the assignment sheet, um, you see you have this cross section of a um, reinforced concrete beam, pre-stressed beam that's uh, going to go into the bridge. So I'm going to start with the top left point on that. Um, I'm going to call that zero zero zero, um, and we're going to start adding points. So next up, uh, we're going to go 600 units to um, the right. Z in this case being a, a right point. Uh, the next point is on the same uh, elevation. Um, then after that we want to have still 600 across um, but we're going to go down a distance of um, 150 units. You can see we're starting to draw up that uh, that top part. Uh, there's three points that can be slightly defined. Um, okay, next the next point is um, on an angled section. Um, the x coordinate is going to be um, is it 600 um, take um, 150 on 2. So 225 is the length of either side. So I actually want to be uh, 225 plus 150 across, which is 375 units. Um, and at a height of um, 150, my, uh, 150 and 225, which is um, negative 375. Um, the next point would be at, oh, should I say 375 there? I'm at 625. Oh, oh, have I just ruined everything? That should actually be our final shape. So we just need to check for any extra zeros. And yep, okay. There we go. So once we got rid of all the, the remaining zeros in there, that is the finished shape. It only took uh, too long to make. I mean, look, it's, it's okay. It, we've got the second moment of area properties now, we've got the torsional stiffness, radius of gyration, all that sort of business. Um, torsional constant not calculated, okay, whatever, that doesn't matter. Not for our purposes greatly, anyway. Um, so, I mean, one advantage of doing that, it, it's long and it's tiresome and it's it's a pain, but let's say I had a member, uh, say, zero, 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 node 2, just very quick and nasty, let's say it's 10 meters across there. Um, we'll just put in quickly one member from those nodes. Um, that section that we just made. Materials don't particularly matter. Steel, okay, fine. Value must be positive. Um, all I'm trying to do right now, I'm not setting up any particular model. I just want to show you um, something that you can you can view, which is reasonably interesting. So this thing here, Open 3D Renderer. Um, now that we've built the the cross section of this shape, aha, rendered. So um, once we can open up the uh, section viewer and change the view style to rendered, you can see that we've now got this nice section um, drawing. Actually, the, the section that we've produced can be um, viewed in Space Gas. Um, so while it's reasonably painful to put the section in. Once it's in there, you've got the section properties and you've got the, the viewer. If you were building a complicated structure, um, it might be nice to have a 3D rendered model. Right, enough of that business. Let's go and show how much better it is to do in AutoCAD. 
Right, so with AutoCAD open, start the polyline command. Um, we can come across uh, 600 units at the start there. Um, let's see, we're then going to come down um, 150. Um, I've got this line in here which is um, is it uh, 225 and 225? Um, I can join this up towards the end. 800 down, and then uh, we're going down 250, across 250. Um, then uh, 175 down, and um, let's just say yeah, 650 across. Okay, um, I can chamfer off this corner with a distance of 25 and 25. So I'll put that little chamfer on the corner there. I can um, chamfer off the other corner with a distance of um, 250. So that was this one. 250, 250. Chamfer off the other distance, uh, the other point with a distance of 225. Um, I can mirror this object to copy it. I can um, trim off the unnecessary lines. Basically I just want to tidy this up so it's one object that I can work with. That one can go back to here. Um, and when it's all together I can use the join command with J to bring this into one closed polyline. Um, now the command that you may never have heard before which is uh, critical in this aspect is region. So I can convert this closed polyline into a region, um, depending on my view style. If I go to view here and I change it to, say, conceptual, you will see that um, that object now has a, uh, it doesn't have a thickness, but it has a, um, a fill to it. So AutoCAD is treating that as, as a solid, um, or at the very least a surface. Now. The other interesting thing that we can do is we can use um, mass prop. That will uh, determine the volume of an object. It can also determine the um, uh, second moment of area and uh, furthermore the, the centroid of a shape. So typing mass prop and selecting that shape, um, we are given the centroid that it currently has. So um, it's at a height y434 x 1191. Uh, sorry, 1991. So it's important to just write that down quickly. Um, 991 and uh, 434.76. Um, we can move the user coordinate system to uh, those points. So um, perhaps it's better to make a circle first at that point. So that was 1191.1. Um, and god damn it I'm bad at this one nine nine one point one and four thirty four point seven six. So that's the new centroid position. Move the user coordinate system to that position. Um, and this time we can take the mass properties again. Only this time, now that we're calculating about the centroid, um, we'll be able to actually determine the second moment of area. So the centroid of this shape comes out uh, at close to zero in both. That's saying we've moved it to the right place. And we get a second moment of area um, of uh, it's about the x-axis, 1.66 by 10 to the 11. If we check the space gas um, outputs, so we go to, again, data sheets, section properties, um, you'll see that we have the, the same values in here. Um, oh, so measuring, uh, saying rotation about Z, 1.658 by 10 to the 11 versus AutoCAD's 1.658 by 10 to the 11. Um, they're, they're comparable estimates, but um, the possibly it's just because I'm much quicker with CAD, but I think that this is a much, much quicker way of doing things. Like It's just the fact that you've got AutoCAD's um, better sort of tool structure for um, arranging these things seems to me um, the easy way of doing it. However, if you, you fancy having that um, rendered model that you can um, you know, click on and view around in SpaceGas, then uh, I suppose the section model viewer is the, uh, the section builder is the only way that you're, you're going to get about that. Um, Alright, if anyone has any questions on that stuff, just uh, you know, don't, don't hesitate to ask, um, but I hope that's been helpful. Thank you.